As most of us should know, the capital of West Germany was Bonn and not West Berlin. West Berlin not having been a capital makes perfect sense. Let's look at this map. But why Bonn out of all places? Why not, let's say, Frankfurt? Or heck, even Bergisch Gladbach? <laughs> it is important to say, whatever city it would have been, it was meant to be provisional until Germany could be reunited, which will be important soon. So how was the capital chosen? Well, cities could apply for the position, and then the capital was voted on. So, which candidates do we have? No Bergisch Gladbach, luckily, but we got Kassel and Hesse. Stuttgart and Baden-Württemberg, or Bergton, Württemberg, Baden, huge difference. Bamberg, Heidelberg, also in Württemberg, Baden, Frankfurt and Hess again, which is total real. And of course, Bonn and North Rhine was failure. Kassel, Stuttgart, Bamberg and Heidelberg were disqualified for various reasons, like being too poor or having had a too strong Nazi presence. As with some more, let's say, special ideas I didn't mention. Like just a bunch of fortifications at the border of the Soviet occupation zone, but also other more serious ideas that died quickly. So now we just got Frankfurt and Bonn. So why was Bonn chosen? Well, it was a close vote. 63 votes, 33 for Bonn, 29 for Frankfurt, and one blank vote. So Bonn had an absolute majority, which would have been 32 at least. But why? Why did Bonn win? Firstly, Bonn was mostly backed by the CDU, while Frankfurt was mostly backed by the SPD, FDP and parts of the CDU. Bonn was importantly backed by the Rheinlander and Kölner Konrad Adenauer, who you might know. He lived suspiciously close to Bonn and Röndorf. Furthermore, Bonn was small enough to just be a placeholder for Berlin, just provisional, which was the main floor of Frankfurt. It was too perfect as a capital. It was the capital of the German Confederation and during the German revolutions of 1848 and 49, it was the capital of the short-lived revolutionary attempt to unite Germany. In case of reunification, which will totally happen soon and not less than 40 years, trust me on that one, it might want to stay capital. And a small bond which was fine with whatever dude. Plus bond did have a few other benefits, even if not the main ones. We already mentioned close to Adenauer's home and that it symbolizes the provisional character, but furthermore we got. It was on the left side of the Rhine, so the French wouldn't get any funny ideas about redrawing Germany's border along the Rhineland. <clears throat> and it was in the British occupation zone and not like Frankfurt and the American one, who were more reluctant to give the West German government Frankfurt. But Frankfurt also had benefits. It had historic significance. It already had the infrastructure and so would have been cheaper. And it was pretty central, which was why it was the capital of the German Confederation after all. But in the end, Bonn won in more than one vote. Despite the SPD mayor of Frankfurt, Walter Kolb, funnily enough, having given a speech about Frankfurt winning, which was inaccurate just a day later. Wait, 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 wait. More than one vote? Well, yes. The one we talked about was in the Parliamentarian Council. The second one was in the first meeting of the actual parliament, the Bundestag. The SPD politician Erich Ollenhauer proposed Frankfurt again on September the 30th. So the Bundestag made a special commission for it which had three weeks to decide. And in the most German move ever didn't favor either one in its report. So let's go to the second vote in parliament on the 3rd of November. Bonn won again with 200 to 179. And so it was official. Bonn was the provisional federal capital until free elections could be held in all of Germany. While that was its status until 1973 when Willy Brandt recognized it as federal capital. So until next time when we discuss why Bonn didn't stay the capital. Just kidding bonus section. It was also a slim vote but not as slim and in the end Berlin won. Even if the government actually moving there would take a while. So until next time in two years.